in today's Guide to Life, we're actually going to be doing a viewer suggestion. Somebody suggested that I should go 48 hours without social media. So, <laughs> you're very cruel eh. So, we're going to be modifying that a little bit because 48 hours, you still are you, that's not possible, okay? And we're just going to do one day without internet, okay? Compromise. I would say that on a scale of 1 to 10, with regards to whether I'm a heavy internet user, I am definitely a freaking 11 lah. What else are you going to do in life without internet, really? There's movies, right, where people go to like mountains and then like there's no internet connection and then they die cause like some mutant attacks them and they lose their way and they have to end up being at some inbred person's house who eats them. That's what I think will happen if you have no internet. The rules for today is that I'm not supposed to use the internet for the entirety of today but if I really really need to, I can but there is a forfeit and yep, my producers are not telling me what it is yet so I guess later on I'll decide whether it's worth it but I will try my very best to go without it. So I just woke up and now I'm feeling very antsy because I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I must say this rehab is very tough, not working out well for me right now. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is to cheer myself out by eating a magnum that's in my fridge. They're really going to just film me eating magnum, seriously. And like the crew is very very mean, they're not talking to me. So I feel very alone and sad. I'm going to soon give up and use my privilege to WhatsApp them. Why is this so difficult to open? See, I want to write complaint letter to Magnum also cannot. Oh my god, I have to go through snail mail. Dear company of Magnum, the design of your box is very dumb, very difficult to open. <laughs> probably my own fault for opening it wrongly, but yeah. Okay, I should probably unbox the stuff that's on my mental piece. It has started to crowd my house again, and the real boss of my house, which is Ellen, he's very upset about it. So maybe today I'll just do that because I can film my unboxing and it does not need internet. So usually I would do my unboxing here with this little stand that I got from Taobao. And I don't usually use the light because my house is bright enough. Uh, so let's start, okay? Open, open time. I'm using Uta Cam which will make me look chores. I am going to put my lenses on. How about that? Look at that, now I have blue eyes. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. okay, great. This is so weird that people are filming me doing unboxing, right? I'm filming myself doing unboxing also. Hey guys, doing some unboxing today. Okay, that was 30 seconds. Should I do it again? Okay, yes, I'll do it again. <laughs> this is going to be like very tedious for you guys. You know, have to balance between like being nice to your clients but at the same time cannot give them too much free ma cause it's still worth money, you know, the IG story. So have to like keep it like not too long. Okay, so I have done a lot of unboxing and I'm very sick of doing it already so I'm gonna stop even though I haven't finished yet but I did put a huge dent in um, the amount of unboxing that I'm supposed to do so da 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 <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling pretty hungry so I think it's time for lunch so let's go! For lunch, we're going to go to... Please let me know the place, please. Upper Boon King Market. There's no fucking way I will know how to go there. No way. Zero idea how to go there. How ah? Upper Boon King. Boon King is where? I've been driving for like 6 years now. I have zero idea how to get to Boon King. Like zero. I don't even know which expressway goes there. So I stay in Serangoon. Macpherson? It's near Macpherson. Is it near Macpherson? It's near Kalang. So I should go KPE? Do not know. That's not possible lah! Right now, my phone is on airplane mode still. Um, but I feel like I did download the Singapore map on Google Maps. I'm gonna go try it to just kind of like see if it actually works, okay? So, if it works, then I don't need internet to go there. How about that? Okay, so does it work? Let me see. Oh, it says no network connection. Hey, hello, I thought I downloaded the map. Oh, 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 but I do have the map here. I do have the map here. So, I can kind of look at where Boon King is and search for it. Kaki Bukit is it near Kaki Bukit? Is it near Yunos? I don't know. This is gonna take a million years. My first one, I feel like it's near my first one. Is it near Thai Sing? Oh my god, I feel like all the other Singaporeans are like judging me. Should I just take a cap? Is that cheating? Okay, that is cheating. So I'm supposed to navigate my way there without the internet. Ah. I'm completely stuck now. There's no way. We'll do it. I really cannot. Do you want to do a forfeit? I want to know what the forfeit is first. What is the forfeit? I am not feeling very confident about it because the crew are looking very, very happy about this and I feel like they're going to give me a jar of cockroaches to eat or something. It must be parsley. I will not eat parsley for anything. What is it? No way! Cannot! I, I knew it! I actually guessed it lor. I cannot even eat that shit. Hello, I will just vomit, please. No, that's not gonna happen, guys. Fucking parsley sucks. It should be eradicated from this earth. This is abuse. I need to call MOM. What is the number for MOM? I don't know because I don't have internet. But where I know, 
Hello, Click Network is abusing their employees. Don't download their app. Oh my god! I guess my plan, because I refuse to eat parsley, is to drive out my car, park along the road, flag down a cab, and then I will depend on him to navigate me. Now I look like freaking like street side prostitute, but okay. He's stopping, he's stopping. That's great. And I will start by asking him whether he knows how to go to Upper Boon King Market. Hello, Uncle. Yep. Do you know how to go to Upper Boon King Market? Can I pay you $20? You drive to Upper Boon King Market, and my car just follow your car. Yes! Yes! He got it! We can do it! Let's go guys! I am actually really like surprised that the first uncle that I got actually knows how to go and he didn't question the absurdity of this thing. He was just really cool. He was just like, oh, okay, cat, no problem. Hey, hello, are we here? I think we are at the wrong location, so I have to go down and tell the uncle and I hope that he manages to get it lah. Uh, uncle, I don't think it's this one eh. This one is Upper Boon King? Yeah, next to it. Upper Boon King. Oh, next to it lah? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is the market. Oh, yeah. so next to it is Upper Boon King. This is yeah. Upper Boon King Road, man? Yeah, up, the other side. Oh, so I park here and then I walk there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, you sure ah? Okay, thank you, Uncle. So we are following his general direction of pointing here. It looks like maybe it's there. No, it looks like a generic hawker centre. I do not know. I will ask somebody. So this is Upper Boon King, ma? Yes, it's Upper King. Okay, you know what the problem is? I don't even know how to get back to my car. Then. Is it here? It is here. Oh, you know how to get back to my car? Next one. 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 Okay, so I turn right, then turn left, right? Yes, it's the same direction. All the way. Okay, so I guess we are at the Boon King Market, but not at the Upper Boon King Market. But according to her, it's pretty easy to go. But when she said turn left, her hand did this sign, right? So that was right. So I'm very confused. I will go and ask another person. And I don't want to be sexist, but I'll ask a man this time. Where's my car? Where's my car? Hey, you don't be mean lah. Tell me where my car is. Is it here? I will walk more towards the car because I'm very confused when people say like this and that. Yeah. And then ho, I feel very angry lah. I give the uncle like twenty dollars and then I like still don't know how to go. And he was so confident and like positive that he got the right place, but it's wrong. Hi, <sighs> wait for my life. I don't know what to do, guys. Maybe I'll eat the pasti. Maybe I'll eat a very, very small sprig of it. I'll eat the pasti. Uh. Give it to me. You didn't bring the pasti, did you? Oh my god, why must you bring some freaking like giant jar of it? Oh, uncle, uncle! No, stop! No pasti! Uncle, it's like it's wrong! Let me save you! Ah, no, 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 it's not jar. Okay, okay. Yes! I don't need to eat the pasti! I cannot believe that it's stopped in the nick of time by the uncle who is still home. He could have just gone around his merry way and like what are the chances that he will actually see us again after that? That is so cool of him. He is a swell guy. I love you uncle. You are the best. You are a blessing on this earth. You are the salt of the earth. But it's bad. <gasps> we are here! Upper, booking, bucket and hawker centre. Yes, bless you, Uncle. Thank you, good job. You're amazing. I love you very much. I've reached Upper Boon King Market now. I thought it was very famous and going to be really bustling. But it seems like most of the stores are closed. But regardless, let's just eat lunch because it's getting late and I'm really hungry. Alright, so we just finished eating our lunch and my lunch sucked because I ordered some like white bee food and there is celery inside and I accidentally bit into it. Not as bad as parsley, but still it made me eh, like vomit it out. Usually when I'm eating lunch, I will be like swiping my phone, kind of checking out messages, replying WhatsApp. When I was ordering my food, it just felt so natural to take out your phone and check your messages, you know? And it's just like kind of killing me a little bit to not know what people are messaging me. Maybe Scully nobody message me lah, but you know, it's just like you feel like you need to check your phone. Um, but I feel like so far I'm surviving pretty okay without it. But I feel that that's mostly because I do have the crew around with me and I can still talk to people. If I'm alone, I think I will feel much, much, much worse because I'll be just bored out of my mind. Right now, I'm going to try to navigate myself back home without using the GPS. I hope I can do it and without using a cab driver as well. I am looking at my Google Maps now. Maybe I can try to find my way back 
home, hopefully. So I'm here right now. I just need to go onto this white road, onto Bendemia Road. So when, once I'm around this vicinity, I should know how to go already. For a super direction idiot like me, this is going to be tough. But okay, I think I can because it is just one road, one straight road. It's not that hard, right? Okay, no, don't need to panic. I just need to make a U-turn, okay? So it turns out, it turns out that I, I can't see it from this map here, but I can't turn right which means i need to go to that direction uh, but i have to turn left but it's okay i'll make a u-turn okay 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 i need to um 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 go in the wrong direction okay okay make a u-turn make a u-turn oh this car is serious speedy gonzalez okay how to make a u-turn where hmm, i don't like this can i u-turn here can i u-turn here okay next one next one next one okay okay okay, okay. i think i can u-turn here i can do this Okay. okay, 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 I'm on my merry way. I just have to turn right here. Oh no! Oh no, why am I not on the correct road? No, 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 wait. I went wrongly. <laughs> anyway, we have sped past my house, so I am not supposed to be on this, this road. Never mind, you know what? We will make a new plan. Instead of going home now, I am going to try to go to NTUC and buy some food to cook, maybe at home. Okay, I'll cook a soup for myself, a nice healthy soup. Okay, got all my groceries, very, very heavy. I think I went a little overboard in there. From here, I think I should have no problems going back. I do drive here pretty often for the days of Red Mart, but I wouldn't speak too soon because with me, sense of direction is the only constant is that it's constantly bad. So I am home now and I have some time before I have to go and pick Dash up from school. So I guess in between I'll do some work. I don't need internet for that. So I guess I'll go and do that now. No more procrastinating. Usually when I'm asked to do work, if I'm not being nagged, I will not do it until I'm being nagged to do it lah. Usually I will just be I guess a few days late until it's like people tell me cannot procrastinate anymore. Then I'll just go and do things lah. But yeah, today I'm being productive, okay? I just have to erase away the background. Nowadays, I typically use my phone to edit my pictures. I find that it's actually a lot easier. So I am not done yet, but almost there. I managed to cut out most of the chili and the area around the hand, uh, but the rest is not cleanly cut out yet. So I will continue this because I need to go and pick dash now. Hi, I got these naughty boys. Alright, now I will continue to try to edit my photo while my son disturbs me from outside here. So I feel kind of productive, I guess. I did finish quite a lot of the work that I'm supposed to do today. I guess I should not have internet every day. <laughs> okay, next step, I'm going to start cooking some stuff. I'm now currently going to make my soup. We are making what is traditionally known as ABC soup, which is just throwing a few random things into the soup to make it nice, like potatoes and onions and carrot. And then on top of that, there is also pork in the soup. Okay, you eat, come. Nah. I feel right, the secret to a good uh, soup is to number one, make sure you don't have too much water and number two, make sure that the meat that you put into the soup right is fatty enough. I feel like that is essentially it. I have here with me baby asparagus, very fine ones. Just trying to make some little like healthy snacks for the crew to eat. All you have to do is to actually cut off the stems because the stems can be a bit fibrous. If you bite it, it's not nice. Sprinkle some salt and some olive oil on the asparagus, put it into the air fryer and let it cook for about five minutes and it will be done. It is evening now, so I think my prison time is going to be over soon uh, but in the meantime I'm waiting for the asparagus to cook and I'm just very bored lah and I'm waiting for my soup to be ready so uh, I guess I'll go and play a game that doesn't require any internet what is cute in Chinese that show I don't know it's ke ai. yeah come here ke ai. you are my ke ai. apps that I use the most uh, I would say whatsapp is probably the most because I'm quite actively replying messages talking on group chats and stuff like that really? yeah really actively responding to Okay, except for, except for work messages, which I sometimes will avoid. Okay, I think the asparagus is done. I'm just gonna put it here for everyone to try. I hope it's nice. So I guess it's nightfall now and I've gone through pretty much the whole of today without internet and I am getting a little bit paranoid that you know people might be trying to contact me. Um, so I'm really anxious to get back to my WhatsApp and uh, in the meantime I don't know what Dash is doing like trying to like dig up something that he wants 
mm-hmm. us to fry for him. I would say so far, it hasn't really been that much of a torture because I have had friends with me this whole time. So people talking to me, I'm not that bored. Lah. I feel like if I'm alone at home, Mm, it will be worse. Um, what else is there to do? I guess until the uh, my jail time is up, I will maybe teach Dash some spelling. Dash, you want to come and do things here or not? Dash, come, come, come. Pierre, is this Pierre or not? Can I teach Wang Li? Eh? I have no internet to verify. It's not a bird. I have no internet to verify. The ban of internet is over there, sure. Now Mama can use internet. High five. High five. I finally got my internet back. Jail time is over and I am going to turn off my airplane mode now. Bye bye airplane mode. Bye. Yay! So I guess this is the first time in a really long time that I spent the whole day without internet. Ultimately, it wasn't that bad. Um, I had quite an enjoyable day actually. And it was quite an adventure. To me, my favourite part of the day was that I didn't have to eat any parsley at all. Um, so luckily, the taxi uncle saved me in the nick of time. And it was just like, oh my god, you cannot believe I stopped him right before I was about to eat the parsley. I'm now beginning to believe that he's a hired actor by the producers to put me on a journey. The con- without internet is that like you really don't have something to rely on you don't really have a backup plan lah. and I think humans are in general really over reliant on our electronics so I would say some of the pros for today is that I have learned how to aga navigate myself home from Bendemia and plus you know without the internet distracting me I got a lot more productive last I did quite a lot of work today so we've come to the end of today's episode I hope you guys enjoyed spending the day with me without internet and yeah ironically you're watching it with your internet lah huh? so if you guys have any other suggestions for interesting future guide to life episodes please do leave a comment below and let us know and who knows maybe your idea will be chosen and for those of you who participated in suggesting stuff I really enjoy reading reading all your suggestions. Thank you very much. And of course, before you go, don't forget to like, subscribe and also download the Click Network app so that you can watch our videos before they come out on YouTube. Okay, bye!